Alrighty, good Wednesday gang. Melissa is primed to become a beast. It's still a tropical storm right now, but realistically there are two main scenarios that could play out. Either it could drift north into Haiti and dump like 20 to 30 inches worth of rain, causing a flood disaster in Hispaniola, or it could continue drifting westwards, rapidly intensify this weekend and become like a Cat 4 or Cat 5 hurricane over the Western Caribbean. What I will say is so far, the storm has trended farther south compared to forecasts, meaning the western track is more likely. Here's the little X's. Those mark positions of where it's actually been compared to forecasts. So it just keeps going west no matter what they forecast. Ultimately, neither track option is ideal. Let's break down the latest on what to expect. Broadly speaking, here's where Melissa is right now. You can see it's like 300 miles south-southwest of Port-au-Prince in the Eastern Caribbean. But look at all this convection, this thunderstorm activity. It is vigorous. You have high, cold cloud tops and a ton of lightning. It's still a little bit lopsided though. The actual center of circulation is on the western side of this whole mass of thunderstorms. A lot of these storms have been blown east of the center thanks to disruptive shear, changing winds with height. That sort of knocked it off kilter, knocked it off balance. And I think that continues for the next two or two and a half days as the vortex tries but struggles to orient itself vertically. It's really having a tough time because this shear, the harsh upper level winds, will likely continue until we get towards Friday. Then one of two things happens. Either it's a little bit stronger, maybe a borderline category one hurricane, and so it's a little bit taller, and it's tall enough to feel these upper level winds out of the south, which pushes it north into Hispaniola, maybe Haiti, maybe the Dominican, and dumps a ton of rain. We'd be talking 20 to 30 inches in that scenario over some very vulnerable landscape, especially Haiti given the deforestation and the socioeconomic issues, leading to widespread flooding and mudslides. But Paradoxically, if it stays weaker for longer, as it is right now, it will just keep chugging along westwards. Wouldn't do much until Sunday or Monday, then it would explode in intensity, likely becoming a high-end hurricane. It'll be passing over water temperatures of 86 to 89 degrees. That is an incredible amount of ocean heat content, fuel, to get this thing just, really, to the moon. In this scenario, a Category 5 would easily be in reach. We're talking winds of 160 to 175 miles per hour, in the middle of this buzzsaw storm in the Western Caribbean. Furthermore, we'll also have divergence or a spreading of the air aloft, especially east and southeast of the center. And basically, the more air we spread apart, the more exhaust we fan away at the upper levels, the easier it is for the storm to suck in more warmth and moisture and energy from below, intensifying further. If we look at the Hurricane Tracker feature in the MyRadar app, we now have spaghetti models, love it, but notice, all the purple, the pink lines connoting like Cat 3, 4, or 5 hurricanes are all on the western side of the envelope, and these are the ones that are making me a little more nervous right now, especially considering the National Hurricane Center has also dramatically shifted their forecast and is now explicitly predicting a major hurricane kind of following this more western trajectory. For that reason, I'd say Cayman Islands, y'all have to be really paying close attention now. Cuba, same thing. Everybody in the orange, start to prepare for possible impacts. If you're in the yellow, just keep an eye out and stay attuned to forecasts. I'll be here nonstop in the days ahead. I'll work this weekend and early next week. Uh, I'm working nonstop until this storm is done. You'll be here. I'll be here. Let's talk about it in the MyRadar app every step of the way. Follow MyRadar on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Download MyRadar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa and Windows.